Muscles transfer force to bones through tendons. When a muscle contracts, it moves our bones along with the related body parts by pulling them. However, by only contracting one way, the muscles cannot move the bones back into the original position. That is why muscles work in pairs antagonistically. One muscle of the pair contracts to pull the body part, while the other contracts to return it back. The muscles that operate like this are called antagonistic pairs. As the name suggests, these muscles work in the opposite. The muscle that contracts or shortens during the action is called agonist, while the muscle that is relaxing or lengthening is called an antagonist. To make it easier for you, the agonist is the muscle that is in agony because of all the work it must do. Give it a try, feel your biceps, and lift your 12 inches action figure or your grumpy old cat towards your shoulder. That bulge on your bicep is due to the agonizing work it must do to make the movement. Hence, it's the agonist. The triceps are the antagonist as it relaxes to let the movement happen. Certain muscles called fixators enable the antagonistic pairs to work efficiently by stabilizing and supporting the joint and the rest of the body. Some of them also act as a synergist to work together with the agonist. Other antagonistic pairs besides biceps and triceps hamstring and quadriceps, gluteus maximus and hip flexor, gastrocnemius and tibialis anterior, and pectoralis major and latissimus dorsi. Thank you for your continuous support, especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.